Good to be with you. It's Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, today I wanted to speak about a topic relating to a very commonly used medicine called calcium channel blockers. Now, calcium channel blockers, as the name suggests, are medicines that block the calcium channel. And the calcium channel is one of these uh, special parts of our vessels and our arteries and veins that helps in the way that the vessels and arteries contract. Now, examples of calcium channel blockers are amlodipine, philodipine, lecanidipine, and these peen medicines, they end in peen, are very, very commonly used. They act on this calcium receptor and cause relaxation of the vessels, relaxation of the veins and the arteries in our body. So by relaxing the veins and arteries, they are commonly used for high blood pressure. Now, they are not a medicine that we start off with in most cases. There may be alternative medicines that we use for high blood pressure, but they are a very useful medicine to add in those people who we cannot obtain adequate blood pressure lowering. And they are often very well tolerated. But there are some important side effects that I do want to bring to your attention. So in addition to being used for high blood pressure, they are also very effective in a condition known as angina. Now angina essentially means we're experiencing pain around the chest often that occurs because of a restriction of blood flow to our arteries of the heart. And that can cause chest pain when we push ourselves up a hill, uh, exercising, also shortness of breath. And this class of medicine is calcium channel blocker. By acting on the vessels to relax them, actually improves blood flow. So that's its major, major benefit. By improving blood flow and obviously dilating the artery in the vein, you get more blood flowing, and that's where symptoms can improve. So they are very commonly used medicines. The dosing is slightly different depending on the type of medicine you, you are on, the name. For example, amlodipine, usually starts at about 5 milligrams, but can go up to 10 milligrams if needed. Lecanidipine is one of the newer types of calcium channel blockers. That starts at about 10 milligrams, but can be increased to 20 milligrams. And it's very important that you have careful monitoring with your doctor to decide about the appropriate medicine, but also decide about the appropriate dosing. Now, they are well tolerated, but one of the more commonly seen side effects is swelling of the ankles. And that's commonly seen and it's a very, very uh, common side effect. And most often it's very, very subtle and doesn't cause major impact, but it can worsen, particularly in the hotter weather. Then you might find that the ankles are becoming more puffy towards the middle and latter part of the day. And it's not uncommon because by dilating or enlarging the vessels and the arteries and the veins in our body, blood and fluid tends to pull down, causing the swelling of the ankles. Other side effects may be as a result of well, what they do. They lower blood pressure, so you might feel a bit lightheaded, you might feel a bit giddy. And again, speaking to your doctor about any of these symptoms is important to make sure you are on the appropriate medicine and the appropriate dose. But they are very useful. We are seeing more and more now that this class of medicine is often combined with other types of medicines, for example, angiotensin receptor inhibitors and ACE inhibitors and angiotensin II receptor blockers. We often see that this class of medicine can also be used in addition to one of the other medicines that you might be on. Well, these calcium channel blockers can often be combined and they're a very good combination pills nowadays that sees you having two different types of medicines for blood pressure, but in the one pill. Now, one other important interaction with this class of medicine called calcium channel blockers is the consumption of grapefruit. So if you are a grapefruit consumer, this can affect the way that this medicine is actually 
metabolized or processed in the body, in the liver in particular, through certain enzymes. So we suggest that you don't have grapefruit with this class of medicine because the effect of the medicine can be increased and can therefore cause more symptoms, lightheadedness, dizziness, and dropping blood pressure even further. So please check with your doctor and pharmacist about any possible interaction with the medicine that you might be having. And if you are um, a fan of uh, grapefruit, which of course is great for you, but uh, very important for you to know that there is an interaction with this medicine. So that was just a short video to summarize what these calcium channel blockers are. They are well tolerated. They can cause a bit of giddiness or lightheadedness because of what they're doing. They're lowering the blood pressure. They are very effective with angina or chest pain as a result of blockages in the arteries, but they also can be associated with swelling of the ankles and feet. Thanks for joining me. Until the next video, bye for now.